Here is your PTO driven log splitter. Now it is uh, a three point linkage. You've got a cat two and a cat one pin. And also here is your um, hydraulic driven pump. And it is also driven by the PTO shaft. Now here is your mast for your log splitting. You can, you've got a four way split and also that can come off to make a single split straight through the middle and then you've got your handle here on top of the mast so that when it's off the tractor you can pull it back and it, you can move it on the wheels like so and then this little bar is also a moving up and down so that you can vary the height of the mast for when it stops so you can have a smaller log and so the mast doesn't have to rise as high and then you've got your two handles here to drive the log split and then you've got bed one which is for your smaller logs this can also come out like so so then go to your bed two and then if you've even got a longer one you can also have a bed three like so Like I said earlier with the height adjuster rod, it has come down to here and is connected to the spool valve which is controlled by that which is then gives your extra height or not. And then round this side is your hydraulic reservoir where you need to keep it regularly topped up like so in there. Once it's all set up and you're ready to split some logs. Uh, turn on the tractor and engage your PTO driven and then we can start splitting some logs and we will start with the four-way split and move on to the split. We will start with the full length of the mast to show the logs splitting.